So children, here we are going to discuss about the permanent tissues. Okay. Permanent tissues are made up of cells that do not generally divide. Okay. So they are made up of cells that do not generally divide. So make a point. It is just shown that do not generally divide. It is not said that it will never divide. Okay. It is divided into three major types. Simple tissues, complex tissues and special tissues. Okay. So we have learnt what is tissues already. Group of cells that are being organized to form a specific function is referred to as a tissue. Right. Now simple tissues. These tissues are made up of only one type of cell. So these tissues have how many type of cells? Only one type of cells. There are various types of simple tissues. They are parenchyma, colenchyma and the sclerenchyma. Okay. I just repeat the words. They are parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Now, moving on to the characteristics of the permanent tissues. We have few characteristics which are specific for the permanent tissues. Now, permanent tissues are formed by differentiation and redifferentiation and specialization. So, these tissues are formed by differentiation, redifferentiation and specialization. Permanent tissues have all cells similar in structure and they function. So make it a point. These tissues have a cells that are similar in structure and they function. Now the first type that is the parenchyma. It is also referred to as a fundamental tissue. Parenchyma term was given by a scientist called as Gru. Okay. It forms a major component within the plant. Parenchyma cells are isodimatric and mostly they are isodimatric. The shape is like this and sometimes it is oval, round, polygonal or elongated. Now the cells have very thin cell wall and it is made up of cellulose. So cell wall is made up of what? It is made up of the cellulose. Parenchyma cells perform various functions like the photosynthesis, storage and also the secretion. So it performs various functions. What are the various functions? Photosynthesis, storage and the secretion. So they are made up of the similar structure and functional cells. Cells that are similar in structure and the function. So what is your shape? Isodimatric. It can be oval, round, polygonal or elongated also. They have very thin cell wall. Now this very thin cell wall helps it in many other functions in which parenchyma are involved. What are the functions? Photosynthesis, storage and the secretion. 